you start by evaluating the curve y is equal to 2 upon 1 plus x square. Notice that when x is equal to 0, the value of y is equal to 2. When x tends to plus or minus infinity, the value of 1 plus x square tends to infinity and therefore the value of y tends to 0. Also because of the x square term, the curve is symmetric about the y axis. Finally note that the curve y is equal to 2 upon 1 plus x square, the right hand side is always positive, therefore the value of y is always greater than 0. Also, 1 plus x square is equal to 2 upon y and solving for x we get plus minus square root of 2 upon y minus 1. Now for the right hand side to be real, 2 upon y minus 1 should be greater than 0 or 2 upon y should be greater than 1 which implies that y should be less than 2. And therefore we conclude that the curve exists only when y lies between 0 and 2. Now we plot this curve on the Cartesian plane. When x is equal to 0, the value of y is equal to 2. And as x tends to infinity, y tends to 0. And the curve is symmetric about the y-axis, as noted earlier. Now the other curve that is given in the problem is y is equal to x square, which is a standard upward-facing parabola with the vertex at the origin. Therefore, the required area bounded by the two curves is as shown. Let's assume that the shaded area in the first quadrant is a1 and the shaded area in the second quadrant is a2. Therefore, the required area bounded by the two curves, let's call it a, is equal to a1 plus a2. By symmetry, a1 is equal to a2 and therefore the required area is equal to 2 times a1. Now, let's assume that P is the point of intersection of these two curves y is equal to x square and y is equal to 2 upon 1 plus x square. The point P is determined by substituting x square equal to y in the equation of the second curve which is y is equal to 2 upon 1 plus x square. Therefore y is equal to 2 upon 1 plus y cross multiplying and moving all terms to the left hand side, we get y square plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Solving this quadratic, the value of y is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 times minus 2 divided by 2. Which is equal to minus 1 plus minus 3 upon 2. Or the possible values of y are minus 2 and 1. Now since y lies between 0 and 2, the solution minus 2 is ruled out. And therefore, y is equal to 1. Now, y is equal to x square. Therefore, x square is equal to 1. And therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 1. In the first quadrant where p lies, x will be plus 1. And therefore, the coordinates of p are 1 and 1. Now, the area a1 is determined by calculating the area of the small strip of thickness dx and of height equal to the difference between the ordinates of the curve y is equal to 2 upon 1 plus x square and the parabola y is equal to x square. And then integrating this strip between the origin and the point P or when x lies between 0 and 1. The required area is therefore equal to 2 times integral x varying from 0 to 1 yc which is the ordinate of the curve 2 upon 1 plus x square minus yp which is the ordinate of the parabola dx. The value of yc is equal to 2 upon 1 plus x square and the value of yp which is the ordinate of the parabola is equal to x square. And since the area is a positive quantity we take the modulus of this expression. Therefore, the required area is equal to 2 times in brackets, 2 times tan inverse x minus x cube upon 3. The limits of x are 0 and 1 and we take the modulus of this expression. This is equal to 2 times in brackets, 2 times tan inverse 1 minus 1 upon 3. Which is equal to 
4 times tan inverse 1 which is pi upon 4 minus 2 upon 3 which simplifies to pi minus 2 upon 3 which is the required area.